I teach to use non-farm payroll as a case study and then you watch price action. You do not demo trade it. You do not live trade it. You don't use it on your funded account challenge. You don't use it to trade your funded account. You don't do it with your brand new live funds in your broker account. Okay, You don't do those things. This is a day where all the rules go out the window. Okay, so it's literally like casino time. It's a gambling session. And because of that, remove any necessity for you to concern yourself with the outcome in terms of a monetary reward or loss. If you take the money out of it, it's a wonderful opportunity to study what price is doing. It's a, it's a case study in psychology. Who's in the market right now or overnight from London? The, it's the longs. So gun to my head, I think we drop down to stop them out because they've trailed their stop loss here. Then it rallies up and goes a little bit higher here. And then they're going to regret that and they're going to chase it as a breakout. And then they rake them across the coals and take out this low and trade into that inefficiency in that mitigation block. That's my gun in my head. I'm willing to be proven wrong today. I hope I am wrong to do something when I already know the probabilities are shifted outside of my favor. And that's all I'm suggesting to you. Now, after 10 o'clock, everything resumes the way it is normally. We're back in a normal market condition where you could look for silver bullets and whatnot. You can do the same thing at two o'clock to three o'clock. So it's not me trying to tell you don't trade on non-farm payroll Fridays at all. When I say don't trade non-farm payroll, I'm saying don't trade non-farm payroll between eight o'clock and nine thirty. At the opening bell, you can resume doing whatever you normally would do. So that way, I hopefully, I've kind of like cleaned the air 